The growing season is essentially done. There's a frost advisory in effect tonight for northern Litchfield County, and that means parts of uh, the colder sections of northern Connecticut could be seeing some frost tonight. Yes, but what do you need to do if you want to put your gardens to bed? That's the big, or a long winter's nap. Long winter's nap. I, I love like that. that. That's a much better. Long winter's nap. Yeah. Absolutely. We have Yukon gardening expert um, and our gardening expert here on 9A, Sarah Bailey. She's back with some tips. The master gardener. Well, remember, I told you that it would be mid-October before we started to see the end of the garden. That's true. Yeah, that's true. We all true. wanted to shut them down early, but yes, the garden is now beginning to look just a little tired. It's time for its winter nap. Okay. So what we're going to end up doing is taking out the annuals, which okay. are, are the just marigolds and the impatience mm -hmm. with, at the end. We'll cut back some of the perennials, but I'm going to leave some of the stems up for insects to overwinter in. Okay. Because the beneficial insects need a place to take their nap as well. Excellent. But we're actually going to start thinking about spring. Okay. Because now is the time of year that you plant your bulbs. This is bulbs. the time. This is the time. This is the, the time, time to plant bulbs. I was telling you, I was at a garden center. Actually, we took our kids to Pumpkin Town, USA. And we went to their local gardening center there. And my girlfriend was going crazy buying all these tulip bulbs. And I said, what are you doing? She goes, I'm getting ready to prep my garden for the spring. This is when you plant. I'm like, what? Absolutely. Didn't know that. The bulbs go in. The spring blooming bulbs go in now. They'll spend the winter, well, at least through November, setting some roots. Okay. They're all ready. They have all of the energy they need right now for next spring's color. Okay. And so you put them in now. We do them in sequence. Mm -hmm. You start with some of your smaller ones, things like the crocus, which will be your early blooming ones. Those, and there's some that actually will start blooming in, in March, but the crocus will start in probably April. So small to large when you're saying sequence? Small to large okay. fundamentally. Gotcha. So crocus, then some of the shorter daffodils, then you can move into the larger daffodils, and then by late spring you're into the snowdrops. You can also do tulips. I don't do tulips because they're deer candy. Deer, deer candy. candy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that. <laughs> Me either. But Tulips are deer candy. Daffodils oh. are actually poisonous, so rodents and deer won't eat them. Oh, didn't know that either. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, you might have addressed this because uh, we're having some audio issues and it's distracting me. But nonetheless, when do, do you just do you take your plants out before the frost gets them, or you wait till the frost gets them and then you take them out? I usually wait, but if you want things looking pristine, you may go ahead and do it earlier. Okay. I just, I wait until they're done. Wait until they're done. I wait until they're done because that's what I like. Okay, that's excellent. And uh, the marigolds are still cranking. But they're going to go. They're starting to look tired. Yeah, they're starting to look so tired. Yeah, they out. are. The impatients are starting to look tired. Yeah, so they are. to take them out? Completely. Completely. Oh, completely. That's completely. so depressing. This stuff, though. <laughs> I find it cathartic. I find, I, it is a it, it is. It's like, okay, I'm getting ready for Christmas. Uh, you I'm know. not there yet. Okay, you're not but there yet. But they're still in bloom, I feel bad digging that out. You've you know? had all summer with them, though. Now, I'm going to ask another question. <laughs> this is uh, the marigold, and yep. these are the seeds of the marigold. That's correct. If oh. I plant these seeds, will they actually grow marigolds? They might. They what? They might. They might. Okay. Um, if they're a hybrid, they may not germinate. If they're a hybrid, they may not, they may not germinate. But if they're, if they're the straight species, yes, hmm. they, will, they will recede. And they will terminate. They may not look exactly like the parent. Okay. We don't look. That's exactly okay with like me. So parents. these are mutts when it comes to marigolds if they don't receive. <laughs> they, they probably purebreds and mutts. Purebreds and mutts. I love it. I have a question I, about yes. the, um, you know in terms of like tomato plants. Yep. My tomato plants are still thriving right now. They are. You getting tomatoes? Yeah. That's incredible. And I went momentarily. Yeah. Okay. So do I have to take my tomato plants out and the lettuce out and everything? Mm -hmm. When you when you're ready, take them out. <laughs> She's so sad about this. I, I love it. Hard time letting go, apparently. <laughs> well, yeah, it's October. Now I'm get you a, a, you know, Thanksgiving's not that far away. So yes, yeah. unless you've got a greenhouse or some season extenders on your garden, now is the time. Take advantage of the nice weather. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're doing it when it's cold and rainy and miserable. Right. What about flowering cauliflower or the, the colorful cauliflower mm -hmm. that people put in that ornamental? Mm -hmm. Is that does that last through the winter? The, well, not so much cauliflower, but cabbage and kale. Cabbage and kale. Excuse yeah. me. Yes. They'll last well into the winter. They'll hold up to the first frosts. But when we get really, really, really cold, they'll start looking. They'll miserable. start looking pretty miserable as yeah. well. See, my kale never really fully bloomed. Really. I don't know why. Everything That's, else in my garden did except there's kale. There's always something that leaves you going. Mm -hmm. right? and, and then until the next year, you kind of, you try something a little different, try right? Little different. Sarah Absolutely. Bailey, our expert gardener from UConn. We can't thank you enough thank for being with so us. Thank you so much, Sarah. Pleasure. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And good luck putting your gardens for a long winter nap. <laughs>